Husband? Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Well, good late morning. Where are we off to? Baby moon. Ultrasound number two. Gonna see the baby again and hear the heartbeat. Yeah. Today I am 16 weeks along. Our baby is the size of Batman. No, I'm just kidding. An action figure. But the app that I have on my phone showed me that it was a little Batman. So I'm growing Batman. It's Batman. Does that make me a superhero? You're growing a human that makes anyone a superhero. Anyone who can grow a human is a superhero. Or a giant oven. Or that, yeah. Uh, I can't do it, so. I'm a superhero. Now you know. I need a cape. Get you a cape. And a mask. Superhero mask. Mm, I don't know that it would go over the glasses very well. I'm not a contacts girl. I can't wear those things. Somewhere in this building, on the second floor. It's called Baby Moon. You come here and uh, it's non-medical, right? Non-medical, okay. But they can tell you the heart rate. You excited? I gotta pee real bad. Like, real bad. What's happening? In order to get a proper ultrasound, she has to have a full bladder. No, not for this one. Not for this one? No, no, no. That's just for medical I'm ultrasounds. lying to you. Did you know that? That's for medical ultrasounds when they want the measurements on the baby. The last time we were here, they needed to. No, that was only because the uterus is so far back. What do I know? I don't know anything. Don't listen to me. Yeah, well, that's when I was able to Baby number two. You already have a, an owl, right? Yeah. yeah we but we haven't it. listened to it at home. We'll have to listen to it tonight and show Couple the vlog. Times. Yeah. Have, no, we did show we the did. vlog. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Yeah, and I showed it to my mom when she came over. And, yeah. It's for the baby, so. But I thought the heartbeat was for us to listen to because the oh, baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but it's also for a keepsake for the baby. Okay. When they come out. Baby kind of bopping around every now and then. Yeah. Baby's heart beating beautifully here. No hiccups this time. No hiccups this time. <laughs> How was it? We have a stubborn baby. She mm -hmm. or he did not want to turn on their side so we could get a good profile picture. But it doesn't matter because it was a strong heartbeat and it was a baby. 
in there. Like, it looks human-ish. So. <laughs> you want to show them the pictures? Oh, sure. I'm not sure if you can be able to tell what it is. This is kind of a side profile. Here, I'll grab this and... The head is down here at the bottom. She's a little bit, her head's, a, or his, I call it a her because we think it's a girl, but we'll see. Um, head is tilted a little bit to the side though, so you can't quite get the whole profile, but that's okay. And then, let's see and what else. Then. We haven't even looked at these yet. That looks about similar to what the last one was, a little less clear though. This is, I believe, the brain? Yeah, that's the brain, because they can see through the skull with the sound waves at this point. Because it's not an ossified skull yet, so, yeah, so it's they, not hard bone. They can check to make sure the brain is developing. This is a hand. Little elbow and little hand. Mm -hmm. She kept covering her face. This is the, oh, it might be the same hand. No, I think it's the other hand. I don't know. <laughs> Alex knew what was going on. We don't. Oh, and then here's baby. At first she was on her stomach. So there's her little spine, her little head, little butt. Hmm. Yeah, that's our baby. Heart rate was 151. Good heart rate. So if you guys are in the Winnipeg area, like we come in from Steinbeck, but this is called Baby Moon. It's in the southeast side of uh, Winnipeg, right by St. Fatel Mall. And it's uh, pretty affordable, and if you go onto their website, they have a whole bunch of different packages that you can choose from. Uh, you can get just the heartbeat, you can get, uh, Britt Brit knows the packages a little better than me. And it depends what week you're at. So at week 8 to week 15, I believe all that's available is just the heartbeat package, which is what we go for because we don't want to know the gender. But then there's also a mini moon, 16 weeks and up actually it might be before that where you can get a video mm -hmm. that's what that's what we'll be doing next time so the video will actually come from them and it'll be a, a lot more detailed than what I can mm -hmm. show you secondhand right. while I'm sitting there yeah and it'll be a clearer image because when you take a screen and then you film another screen it gets a little bit blurry yeah. but um, but yeah hopefully next time she or he is on their side and we can get a little picture of that nose mm-hmm that was awesome. Oh, I'm so happy right now. So I, I, happy doesn't even describe it. It's a feeling like no other. So if you are expecting and uh, you want that reassurance and just to hear the heartbeat at any time, it's super affordable. Just come to Baby Moon here and they'll uh, get you your heartbeat and ultrasound. Absolutely. And then you can relax a little bit because I know it, uh, anxiety plays a little bit of a role when you, you don't know, you can't feel it. She still, she still can't feel anything. No. And we saw the baby and they're just kicking around and just having a party the covering his face. Like and that already. And she still can't feel it in there. Feel it. <laughs> and so when you're, especially I guess when you've gone through the IVF process like we have. Or if you've had any kind of pregnancy or infant loss, for peace of mind, you're going to need a little extra peace of mind, probably compared to a lot of moms. Yeah, peace of mind. That's the words I was yeah. looking for. A little bit of comfort. Peace of mind. And, and definitely you can, works. You can schedule as many appointments here as you want. As long as they got time to bring you in, you call ahead, you make an appointment. I mean, you could probably make an appointment every day if you really wanted to. And they're just the most wonderful <laughs> ladies there, especially Alex. They are very nice, yeah. yeah. Very good uh, bedside manner. Yes, all of them so far that we've met. Just finished editing this up and I got the approval of the boss. Chevy, did you know there's a there's a baby inside mom in her belly? Oh, I think he knew before we even knew. Yeah. For a few mornings before we found out he was uh, waking up every morning and laying his head on my stomach, which is something that he never did. Okay, lay down, sir. You're blocking the shot, man. I'm so excited. Lay down. Lay down. I'm not gonna cut your toenails again. Oh. That's probably why he thinks I'm sitting on the floor again. Oh. Because I cut all their nails today. Chevy, can you lay down? Lay down. We're getting a skin puppy, guys. That skin that. puppy. It's gonna be so good, so cool. I'm the best big brother ever. Who messed up my bed? Ugh. Always diesel. Always messes up my bed. No, it's because I just vacuumed them. It was way too clean. What are you doing? Chevy, <laughs> you're such a weirdo. I love it. Diesel likes 
Yeah. So that little baby, you could see it moving around in here. It was facing down in this shot. You could see the legs kicking up behind it a little bit. Oh, she or he is a very active baby. He can't feel it yet though. It's amazing because it's like yeah. five inches long. That's 5.12 apparently this That's, week. You'd think that you'd be able to feel that. But... You'd think, but no, there's too many layers of insulation, I guess. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. It's an amazing start to the day. And then we had an amazing rest of the day too. Yeah, we went and uh, we had a baby, a baby filled day. We didn't yeah. take the vlog with us because we were just yeah. enjoying visiting. We went to my cousin Ashley's and her husband Jared's and went and saw my two year old nephew and they've got a little girl on the way. So she's, uh, she's due next month. Yeah, around the end of next month. Cool. So five weeks, right? She's got six weeks to go. Six weeks. To six go. weeks. And then, uh, after that, we went to my other cousin Braden's and his wife Kylie's, and uh, they had twins a few months ago, four-month-old twins. So we got to to play with them and hold them and had dinner together. It was it was a really good, fun-filled day. But we've done a lot of visiting the last two weekends. Yeah. Whew. Next weekend we have another family gathering. Yeah. In Plum Coulee. I don't think I've ever. Well, I've been this social, but not in my thirties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Her. Uh, she said her cousin has a little two-year-old, and he knows my name. He's adorable. Oh, yeah. he's the cutest thing in the world. And oh, then he her other him. cousin has uh, the, the four-month-old twins. I got to practice holding babies and how to pick them up and how to hold them, because I've always been the baby of the family. I've never had a baby around. I had I had nephews. I didn't get. I didn't see them that often. I was when they were growing up and when they were young. I was in my uh, young adult years and. Party uh, phase. Sort of just doing my own thing. And I lived way out in Winnipeg. And uh, I wish I would have spent more time with them. But now I'm learning how to pick up babies, hold babies. And, uh, you know, this whole dad thing. We got a little bit of light reading from all of them. <laughs> just a little they bit. They all gave us some books to read. A little bit of light reading. That one's the smallest one. I'm pregnant. That's the smallest one. That's I never Brett. thought I'd hear you say that. <laughs> what to expect? The first year, that's for both of yeah, us, I guess. That's light reading for later. So a little bit of light reading. Let's, uh, once the baby's born, just, you know, just keep ourselves busy. And here's one just for me. The expectant father. The ultimate guide for dads to be. Not too bad. This last one is uh, for the mother. What to do when you're expecting. What to expect when you're expecting. What to no, ex it's for you too. You said you wanted to read it. Yeah, I, oh, I can read it too. So that one's more specifically for me, but yeah. the rest are for both of us. But that's so you know what to expect during the labor process and as I get further along and bigger and how annoying I might be sometimes and how much help I might need. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hi buddy, welcome. Are you gonna do some light reading too? <laughs> yeah? The books lots to learn this. lots to learn <laughs> but uh you know it's gonna be great it's gonna be great we can't we can't wait oh my gosh i've never been this happy in my entire life not ever trimester two is awesome though for me for me like not everybody has as good a time as me but nausea's gone morning sickness vomiting's gone i have energy again i'm social i don't just sit on the couch spinning all the time she had a pretty rough first first trimester. It was awful. I do not recommend the first trimester, but I do recommend the second. <laughs> All right, if you can skip the first one, yeah, you go ahead and do that. Yeah. <laughs> Find a way, let us know. But yeah, I have energy to clean the house again and visit people and yeah, it's been, it's been wonderful so far. So we'll keep you updated as uh, things progress. Our next big appointment is in two, no, no beginning of November. Our next appointment right. is November 1st, and then our big ultrasound, which will be 20 weeks, uh, 20 weeks and two days. Well, that'll be in about a month. It'll be on November 14th. Yeah. yeah. So that'll be like the one where, you know, they make sure nothing's wrong with the growth of the baby, they measure them, all that kind of stuff, probably more blood tests and stuff. But uh, I've already taken my maternal serum screening. Uh, or screening serum serum screening anyways I'm not a doctor took that test and that's to make sure that the baby doesn't have an encephaly spina bifida Downs Edwards syndrome things like that all the really serious stuff 
So we'll keep you updated. Well, thanks for watching this video and uh, tagging along on our exciting journey. To be continued.